The day Cristiano Ronaldo finally retires will be a very sad one for the entire football world. Will there be anyone like him again? Probably not in our lifetimes anyway. The superstar intends to keep playing football for as long as his body allows, and he works fastidiously on maintaining a peak physical condition in defiance of time's unrelenting march. He has even suggested that we could still see him out on the pitch into his 40s, which would be incredible. It won't be easy, but that's exactly the challenge that Ronaldo relishes. But no matter what he does, time will inevitably prevail, and the sculpted Portuguese will eventually be forced to hang up his boots for good, whether or not we like it. But what he will do afterwards remains uncertain for most supporters. Most footballers are keenly aware that their trade is fickle and could cease at any time, meaning the question of what to do when that day comes is never far from their thoughts. So, as Ronaldo enters into the final stages of his career, what does he have in mind? What options lie before the Portugal icon when he finally hangs up his boots? In this video, we will look at potential avenues for exploration when Ronaldo retires from playing football. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your subscription help us to create content like this weekly. It's becoming a more common sight to see players enter management once their playing days are finally over. We've seen some of the 21st century's finest footballers begin their new careers in their last few years. The most notable ones are Frank Lampard, Chelsea, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Manchester United, Mikel Arteta, Arsenal, and Zinedine Zidane, Real Madrid. And there has been some speculation of Cristiano Ronaldo following in their footsteps since the Euro 2016 final. As you may recall, he got injured early on against France and was famously depicted coaching Portugal to victory, alongside head coach Fernando Santos in the final of Euro 2016. Such images would suggest a flair for the craft of coaching, but Ronaldo has been equivocal when pressed on whether he has designs on becoming a coach or manager. Right now, I'm not interested in becoming a coach, but maybe one day I will be bored and I will feel like it, he told Daz in Italy in late 2019. Never say never. If I became a coach, I would be a motivator. The coach must pass his passion and talent to the team. For example, I like to have fun, dribble, score goals. I should pass this on to the team as a motivator. Changing roles from being the star player who can do it all to the coach who must inspire others to do it all may be off-putting for him. Indeed, simply being a great footballer does not necessarily mean that one will become a great coach overnight. And in many cases, great coaches have had quite average playing careers. For instance, Diego Maradona is widely regarded as one of the best footballers ever, but has struggled for success as a coach. Arrigo Sacchi, meanwhile, was a mere amateur footballer, yet masterminded a golden age for AC Milan and led Italy to a World Cup final. If he does move into coaching, Ronaldo would be wise not to do it out of boredom, as he suggests, and look to the blueprint of obsessive success stories, such as Johan Cruyff, Zinedine Zidane, and Pep Guardiola. Cristiano Ronaldo made a surprise announcement in December 2019 that one of his ambitions was to challenge himself by playing a part on the big screen. He wouldn't be first football player to act either, with fellow Manchester United legend Eric Cantona also in the business. Should he pursue this option, there will be an abundance of offers from the biggest film industries around the world. He will likely take on a blockbuster role or something similar. I hope I live more than 50 years to learn new things and face different challenges and try to find solutions for them, he said in Dubai Sports Conference. One of the things that I seek to challenge myself in, for example, is acting in a movie. The former Real Madrid star wouldn't be the first footballer to transition into acting, with Vinnie Jones, Stan Collymore, Pele and David Beckham have also tried their luck out in the film industry before. However, at risk of offending Ronaldo's ego, it seems very unlikely that CR70 will land a lead role in a Hollywood blockbuster or find himself running for an Oscar anytime soon. After leaving his hometown of Madeira age 12, Cristiano Ronaldo has dedicated his entire life to football. He even gave up his education at 14 in order to fully concentrate on making it as a professional footballer. Of course, we all know how well that worked out in the end. 
but there are plenty of educated football players out there. Andres Iniesta, for example, has a biology degree, and Juan Mata holds a degree in journalism. And Ronaldo himself has recently shown an interest in resuming his education when he retires. I always recommend learning all that is new. This is what I always strive for, said Cristiano. I always seek to educate myself, because my studies tend to answer many of the questions on my mind. We have to learn the best of others, and this is an important part in helping me achieve what I have reached now. However, it is not clear if he means pursuing a university degree, as a number of other footballers have. It might be hard to picture someone like Ronaldo strutting through a university campus with a collection of books tucked under his arm. Cristiano Ronaldo could still skip the books and just get straight into the business scene. Long before retirement was ever an imminent consideration for Ronaldo, he had cultivated a long line of business interests outside of football, and they are sure to keep him occupied when he stops playing. He and his team have built the CR7 brand fabulously over the years. It's earned him a huge chunk of money, from a clothing line to even his own hotels, known as Pestana CR7. Cristiano recently opened a hair transplant clinic in Madrid as well. The business mogul also owns a fragrance line, a digital agency, restaurants, gyms, and a footwear company. The last few years I start to enjoy this process of seeing me outside of football, so who knows what will happen in the next year or two, he said. On what he can achieve in the business world, Ronaldo said, It has taken many years of hard work, dedication, and passion to achieve what I have in football. Outside of football, I'm not there yet, but I'm a competitive guy, and I don't like to be the number two or number three. I always want to be number one. I will do it, 100%. One potential business avenue Ronaldo could explore, but has not spoken of yet, is owning a football team. With the wealth that he has accumulated over his career, it is a realistic option, and has been done. Beckham, the man whose number seven shirt Ronaldo inherited when he joined Manchester United, and whose stardom he emulated, has eschewed coaching, but remains involved in football, with ownership stakes. The former England captain is the owner of Major League Soccer Club Inter Miami and has a small stake in Salford City, along with Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, Phil Neville, Gary Neville, and Nicky Butt. Ronaldo's namesake, Ronaldo Nazario, bought a majority share in Spanish club, Real Valladolid in 2018, four years after his involvement with Fort Lauderdale Strikers. His ever-present desire for greatness turned the Madeira native into one of the most influential figures in football history. In fact, rewriting history books has almost been second nature to this football phenomenal. As he approaches the twilight of his playing career, Ronaldo has set the benchmark high for future generations, amassing an unrivaled collection of goal-scoring records, many of which may never be broken. Cristiano Ronaldo is undoubtedly one of the most hard-working personalities in the football industry. He is a guy who has made an empire from the sand, and his dedication towards his goals is just commendable. There is no doubt that he had received criticism regarding his attitude in the past. However, I feel that his attitude is 100% justified for what he has achieved. Why not regard such legends before they are gone instead of comparing or hating them? So let wait and see when Cristiano Ronaldo retires and what the future holds. We wish him all the best. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot from it. Thank you.